4-3-3. Tomas Angel going to be the focal point at that striking position. The 21-year-old from Birmingham, United Kingdom in the starting lineup, which means that somebody is going to have to pick up the scoring slack, and they have somebody that can do that in Aaron Bibu at the top. Bibu last year. AR1 and AR2, Ryan Jung and Joshua Mills. The fourth official is Steven Cardozo. And we begin chapter four in El Traficico, LAFC and Ventura County. Ball goes out wide. Mueller trying to find somebody in the box, nobody home. Have to be on top of his game. It's an LAFC side that does not struggle to score at all. Excited to see what this match looks like throughout the first 15 minutes. Specifically because both teams want to have the ball to create those advantages. That's going to be the question. Very bad giveaway. Ramos goes for goal, and it's wide. And you think Ramos maybe could have slipped it to Bibu, who is a prominent goal scorer. But also, Ruben Ramos is an excellent goal scorer himself. So has high confidence in his ability. This season, LA side and the Galaxy U-17s making it to the championship match, taking on Philadelphia at the Generation Adidas Cup, falling in penalties. There's a foul in behind. Essenge goes down. Duenas is the man that committed the foul. Played with LAFC last year, eight appearances. Nixon tries to center this ball, then it's lost. On hell, takes one touch, and then goes for goal. It's right at Brady Scott. Be surgical. Parente fouled, and a free kick. For L. Two passes, Harbor Miller carrying it now. Ramos does not have the best angle, still went for goal, cuts the ball across. Evans and Angel were there. Now Bibu off the clearance. Lepley, nice ball to Ramos. This ball takes a deflection out for a corner kick. Lepley stands over this for Ventura County, their first corner of the day. Ball comes in, Essenge in front of the goalkeeper, Romero, prepares to take it for LA. Ball is whipped in. A lot of contact on the edge of the six yard box. But Rosales ends up on the pitch. Sean Karani, lots of pace for him. Karani goes to ground, and that'll be a free kick. So Wichita can. Parente whips the ball towards the back post, headed back down. The flag comes up of the season. Two completely different years. For both of these teams back to where they expect to be near the top of the league for LAFC. Segura, nice ball in. Shot comes. And Lewis Mueller did not get enough power behind that to test Brady Scott. On the outside with Harbor Miller, cannot. And for Cronus will clear this away, but there was a foul. And a yellow card now shown. Miller, numbers arriving in the box. Not a bad idea to play the ball quickly. Diego Rosales has to go to ground to deal with it. In another corner. Lepley once again for the corner. Ball floated, back post run. Ramos was there and you see. Parente pumps the ball into the box. See racing in was Karani, got ahead to it. Mueller racing into open field. Mueller, Ordos, goal! Ja 
just like that, LAFC has the opener. A connection between Lewis Mueller and Nathan Ordos. 1-0. Saw it developing as soon as Lewis Mueller broke through that first line. He had acres of space to run into, and sometimes you have to do it on your own. Mueller take. Ball pops up to Harbor Miller. Miller out wide to Klein. Bibu just wide. Parente. Back heel from Bibu. Karani trying to stay strong on the ball. Karani and a poor delivery. And that will end the first half. So after one half in El Trafichico, chapter four, and they should be able to find an equalizer. Benjamin Meyer blows his whistle, and we begin the second half between Ventura County and LAFC. LA and the black tops and black bottoms, Ventura County over the defense. Evans putting pressure on Lepley. Ball is free. Duenas is the man that went for it. He takes contact on the slide tackle from Tucker Lepley and Mueller. Both stand over this free kick. Mueller! Magnificent! <laughs> Lewis Mueller makes it 2-0. A beautiful shot. Get everything organized. That's when things can really change. Parente. Bibu taps back to Karani. He goes down. And now a yellow will be shown to Eric Duenas. On this one, Lepley will float the ball in again. And the ball dribbles inside the box. And offside was the call. So a restart necessary for LA. Wants to win and really takes this match seriously because he knows how big it is, not only at the first team level, but here at the second team level. And leading 2-0. Nixon flips the ball in, blocked by Essengay. Evans brings it down. Evans still with it. Mueller floats the ball back post. Oh, it's off the post. Ordos was looking for a second. This ball just dropped right in for Ordos. Took it first time, but could not keep it below the cross. Rosales, what a ball through, and an excellent touch from Angel. Angel! Just wide. Four lines this week in MLS Next Pro, whether it was Chattanooga winning six, with six goals over into Miami. Stoke tries to clear this ball away. Foul in the air by Tomas on hell. Lepley, minimal contact, but still enough to warrant Lepley. Ramos, Miller, nice touch. Harbor Miller. Right at the goalkeeper. Now a foul will go on to Moss on hell and a yellow card. Spent a lot of time with the first team during preseason. Around the ball, cause chaos. Duenas is free, three on two. Locates Ordos. Ordos. A long effort. Great build up for LAFC. And Shakir Nixon trying to connect. Lewis Mueller in the box. Has it cleared away. Mueller 
Stands over it. Ball whipped into the box and easily brought in by Brady Scott. So Tomas on hell. Will come out and the leading goal scorer from last season will come in Leonardo Flores. And Tabo Nare comes on. Jalen Neal will come on for Carlos Diaz. Karani looking for options. Klein cuts the ball back across. And Ramos is stonewalled by Abraham Romero. Still has a lot of room to grow. But inside the box, he is deadly. Bibu, nice touch. And Aaron Bibu. First time he's really had some space today. You see Flores at the top of the press for LAFC and committing the foul. Coach Gonzalez said what we want to see. Had a conversation with somebody he knows in the Tigres organization. That's where Flores came from and said he is a very good player and you should expect a lot from him. LAFC look to continue their hot start to the season April 28th when they face Timbers 2 here at Titan Stadium. We'll have it for you on MLSNextPro.com starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. The tackle there and a yellow card. You see being held up was Ordos and Parente was just beaten in front of him. So grabbed him. This is Evans. Back to Duenas. Ordos flips the ball in, and Brady Scott snatches it. Mueller, Flores, ball takes a deflection but stays in, and Carson Klein zips the ball forward. Lost to Bombino, and not a bad effort after intercepting the pass. Mueller has it, a curler, not enough bite to it. Just giving Aaron Bibu more chances, more space to run into. Lepley lifts this ball all the way across the box. It bounces to Evans. Evans takes a touch. And now LA Nathan Ordos racing forward. Ordos. And the pass was perfect. The shot was not. Central to Evans. Ordos has a go. Once again, just can't keep it down. Bombino falls to the pitch, loses it. Carson Klein, Lepler behind to Ramos. Now Karani. Karani! And that's all that Ventura. Those are the only shots that LAFC is giving up. I think they'll be okay with that. Sanders comes on for Nathan Ordos. And Carlo Guerra comes on for Matthew Evans. And Tamir Radovitz comes on for Eric Dwayne. And we're outscoring their opponents 12 goals to five, plus seven goal differential, the best in the West. Bibu rising. Keeping it down and scoring. Aaron Beboot with a beautiful goal. And Ventura County is right back in it in the 83rd minute. And this is why you find your big target, because he can do things like this. Just who will win the race to this ball? It's Carson Klein. Takes the touch. Bombino tries to keep him out, and Klein comes from behind on him, and he'll receive a second yellow and a red. And this match is final. 
Round four of El Trafichico goes to LAFC.